Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alright, I, I, I attempted to make a video and again, my device was not recording. So, I am trying to tell you all what I did. Using my phone, I thought I was recording all the time. Anyway, this is the, the apron that I used as a template. It's just a standard apron and it has a buckle system here, but I did not make that part. Um, on my apron. This is the material that I used to make the apron out of. So I used that apron as a template and I made a, a pattern. I made it wider for salvage and longer for the pocket. This, this line here, the blue line here, is the pocket. So all I did was just fold the material up, fold this bottom portion of the material up here, and that is what made the pocket. And I just sewed the so four sections for the pockets. Um, I used this blue tailor's chalk to make the markings for the apron. This is another piece of a, another apron that I'm going to make. I'm going to cut that out. And since I made all those mistakes in the first apron, I know what not to do in the first, one, the second one. So use this place because I made a mess, a huge major mess in here. <laughs> but this is my little section over here, my makeshift sewing section. Alright, okay, so this is the apron that I made. And this is the four sections you can see for the pockets that I made. And I did that. I created that by surging. I totally use a surgeon instead of a sewing machine. However, I think I'm gonna incorporate the both because it's kind of bulky when you use the surgeon to do certain things like these pockets now. This is the back part of the seam for to that I made the fold for the pocket. There's four individual pockets. That's gonna be great. And I had the, the I had forgotten to make the neck portion of the apron. However, this these were very long because I was supposed to bring the I, I, it was supposed to be one whole piece for the neck. You know, this part portion was supposed to be all connected to the straps. However, I forgot to do that, and I had already pinned it and made notches. So I just cut the extra edges, the salvage edges of the strips of the the straps of the apron, and I spliced them together here using a serger and made the neck piece, and it turned out to be the perfect fit for that. I mean, I made some mistakes in it, but all in all, um, I'm pleased with the work that I did, but the next one will be better, inshallah, because I'm going gonna, gonna to go around here to make sure that's tight, tightened up. So that's one of the aprons that I made, and that one is going to be for my husband, green. And you all know what color I like the most. Green is my second color. Pink is the first. So, <laughs> the other night I made um, some prayer garments. I made that prayer garment for my sister. And a few others to have in my home for when my sisters come over. However, this is this is the blue prayer garment. And I did, I try, I did make a video. I attempted to, however... The device was not recording, so I'm back to using my phone again until I work out the kinks in that little device. Okay, so this is the blue prayer garment for my sister because she does not like pink. She's not girly, so she doesn't like pink. <laughs> but this is the garment. It's a simple garment with the um, face piece. Very lightweight cotton. And this is the pale pink broadcloth that I bought from Fabric Mart. Very lightweight, stretchable material. And I made, sorry, I made a few of these for, one for myself and the others for, like, when sisters come over for halakha, etc. And they need to pray, so we're going to have these available for them, inshallah. Nice and lightweight, that way they will not be too heavy when you're praying. And I want to show the one second, hold one second, put that right there. But show the aprons that I made. Okay. 
these are the aprons that I made for myself and my student sisters for when they come over for cooking classes. Y'all look. These are just the half apron. These aren't bib aprons. They're just half aprons and this is some material that I got from the thrift store. It was like two dollars. But it was like two yards. It was nice. And I made it the straps and just serge the back. Serge the strap into the back to secure it firmly. And serge the bottom to make a nice decorative edge. That's just tan with fl tan flowers. Then a lot of this material that I had is cotton material that I had left over from the pillows that I had made. I made the same type of half apron, which comes up to the stomach or to the breasts. Well, it doesn't come totally up to, it doesn't cover the breasts, it just even bring it up to the breast. And this, it, so your clothes won't get splattered on when you're making sauces, food, etc. And this is the purple tie-dye apron that I made for the sisters and I for when we are having our cooking classes. And then there's also the pink one. I did a little head try to get a spurt of creativity when I did this one. <laughs> try to. Um, this is a pink tie-dye with a small pink portion down the bottom and pink uh, pocket and pink straps. And that's the three aprons that I made for myself and the sisters. So all in all, those are the three aprons that I made. I made these prayer garments, which I'm going to try to have to make another video, try to attempt to make a video. Again, okay, once I get this device taken care of, straightened out, and the blue for my sister, the green apron for my husband, and the rest of the pink. I have a few other things over here. These, I didn't want to show you all this, but I must. These are the disasters that I attempted to make. These were the first aprons. They were a disaster. I tried to make this was some of the nice material I got that I really like this material. I'm going to salvage it. I'm going to take this off with a seam ripper. Take all this off, all this tool off with a seam ripper, and just make them into just plain old, you know, square, um, half aprons but I tried to make a I used the gathering foot on my serger to try to make ruffles however it didn't it was an epic fail so I'm gonna take that off and fix it this is the other one to try to make these were the first ones uh, when my husband saw it he was like oh so so sorry for me okay and this was the other fail apron it's supposed to be like pink white and blue I just thought I was doing something nice but it didn't turn out quite right Got to learn to use that gathering foot. All right, so those are the, these are the fails, and these are the triumphs. <laughs> the green apron, the blue prayer garment with the pink, pale pink broadcloth um, prayer garments. I mean, like, one, two, three, four pale pink prayer garments out of the pink stretch broadcloth, and the three half aprons. That I made for myself and the sisters and children. All right, well, um, hopefully I'll be able to show a tutorial how I made them, inshallah. Because, it, like I said, I thought that the device was recording the entire time I was sewing, but it was not. But anyway, I hope that you all like what I made, and if you have any advice on how I can do better, can you please give me give me um chat me up and let me know what I did wrong. All right. Well, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Have a great day.